One Republican congressman believes that once the Senate trial begins next week, it won't take long for senators to acquit the president of any wrongdoing. One America's Jennifer Franco spoke with GOP rep Mike Johnson with his take on the proceedings. Take a look. We've been following the latest uh, on impeachment from Capitol Hill, and I do want to bring in Republican Congressman Mike Johnson of Louisiana, who sits on the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, hi, Congressman. Thank you so much for joining us today. Glad to be with you. So getting right into it, the House Intel Committee released those documents and evidence from Lev Parnas, uh, the indicted former associate of Rudy Giuliani, uh, which details the president's role in Ukraine. Now, some of the evidence was included with the articles of impeachment. Do you think that this will have any impact on how senators uh, might carry out the process during a trial? I don't expect that it will. I mean, the impeachment package that's been sent over uh, was was proclaimed by Adam Schiff and Nancy Pelosi and Jerry Nadler and the rest uh, to be a complete package. Uh, they, they rushed it through, as you remember, because they promised an impeachment by the Christmas holiday to their base, and they did a, did a rush job on it. Um, the, if it doesn't have enough evidence there, that's not the fault of the Senate. It's the fault of the House. They should have put it all together. But they said they didn't have time to do that. They didn't have time to go through the normal processes. Because because the urgency was so great. And then, of course, we all know uh, Nancy Pelosi decided to hold it for almost 30 days. So they, they really have lost credibility on this. I think the Senate sees it for what it is. I believe there will be a fair trial. And I believe at the end of this that Donald Trump will be acquitted, probably, I hope, in a bipartisan fashion. Mm -hmm. So the Democrats are saying that the courts had just approved Parnas' evidence this week, which is why it didn't get brought in the House. But, of course, we hear from critics calling it a, a desperate act to impeach the president. Do you think that it's fair for the Senate to have to investigate these claims when the lower chamber didn't? Well, it's not what was anticipated by the founders. I mean, I'm, I'm a constitutional law attorney, I've practiced in that arena for 20 years. Uh, they anticipated that the House would, would effectively put the case together, and then the Senate would try the case on the merits of what is sent over by the House. That's what the whole country is about to see played out here, and probably in dramatic fashion. And I think it, uh, the trial itself will probably be a relatively short one, because there really isn't a lot of evidence uh, for the Senate to go over. The way it's, we're anticipating this will go is based upon the Clinton model the last one in the modern era where there was a precedent, and that is that both sides put on their case for a day or two each, and there are questions allowed by the senators that could take a couple of days. They're asked in writing through the chief justice who presides over the trial, and at that point, they would make a determination whether extra witnesses were, were necessary. But I, I think that the sentiment is right now that, that there probably won't be witnesses, and, mm -hmm. and that may be, may be a good thing for the country to put this behind us. If you had to put a date on it, what do you think a trial would conclude? I wouldn't expect the trial to go longer than probably 10 days uh, if, if what we anticipate is is, is right. Uh, you know, there's some there's some undetermined factors there. Uh, in the Clinton impeachment uh, saga, it, in that trial, it took two days for each side to put on their cases, and then there were lots of questions. If each senator asked, you know, two questions, uh, that could take a while. There may be more. So that, that may drag out a few days. But I, I think that this is not going to be a weeks-long uh, event. I think it'll be more the seven to 10-day time frame mm -hmm. is my, my estimation. Okay. And last question for you. Uh, Lev Parnas has said that he's open to testifying to Congress. Are you open to hearing from him testify if Republicans, for example, could get somebody that they wanted to testify, like Hunter Biden? Well, yeah, we've been talking about that a lot over the last 24 hours. I know Senator Ted Cruz and Senator John Kennedy and others have talked about the reciprocity principle, and that is if, if one side gets a witness, the other side does as well. I know there are a lot of Republicans that would love to hear from Hunter Biden and what his involvement was with Burisma, the corrupt company in Ukraine, uh, his good friend that served on the board with him, and perhaps Joe Biden himself. A lot of us would like to hear from Adam Schiff. I don't think he should be a manager in this. I think he should be a witness because he engineered the whole impeachment charade in the House. So there's a a lot of un unanswered questions out there, but I, I think some of the senators' cooler heads will prevail. They may not want to take the country down that road because it could be terribly divisive, and I, I think at the end of the day, we already know the outcome of this. All right. Lots of unanswered questions. Lots of history happening on the Hill, and I know you're busy, but we do appreciate your time, Congressman. Thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube, and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.